In this video, we're going to solder one of these big surface mount caps onto these locations here. So these guys are located, there's a negative marking, uh, and also the bottom pads, there's a little chamfer on each of the corners, so make sure that those line up correctly. As with any part, we're going to start with blobbing solder onto one pad. Because these are big pads, we're going to use a higher iron temperature, so we're going to use up to about 800 degrees for this particular part. So you get a nice shiny blob of solder. Just rotate this around a bit so we can access it. You want to make sure that your iron is nice and flat to the board. Grab this in a way that you can get some pressure down on it. Try to move this out of frame too much. Start warming up the pad. Get a good grip on this so I can actually press down a wee bit on it. And we're going to start to flow this thing in. So we're going to drag the iron and the part together as we get over here. Try not to go crooked like I just did there. Keep the iron on there the whole time as if you can. So right now I'm stuck so I'm just going to gently and patiently wait until we flow through. I can pick the part back up. I actually need to add a bit more solder. If you're ever running out of not getting good heat then just try and add a bit of solder. So now our part's moving and just slide it into place. Move that out of the way. And I'm just looking at the other side, so now I've got good exposure on the other pad there. Let's throw a bit more solder in here. And I'm just going to take the top and gently press down. Like so. That looks good there, so I take the iron away. So I got gentle pressure down on the board at this time, just to make sure that that sits as flat as possible. And you can see that I got good exposure on this pad here. So once that's good on that side, just like any other part, I'm going to come back over to this side. Nice broad side of the iron. Get down there, try not to touch the plastic carrier directly, and start damming some solder in here. If you have flux handy, you can use that at this time, and that'll help speed things up a bit. But if you know me, I'm not a big flux fan. So we'll just sit this iron down on here for a little while. Dab some solder on there. That's going to essentially get us some flux. And wait till you see that solder flowing on to the pad. And once it looks pretty molten there, you should be able to pull the iron away and should get a nice blob there. Nicely soldered. Spin around, give it a second to heat up or to cool down rather on that other side and then come revisit this side and just make sure that that's a good joint on that side so we'll just add a bit more solder on there like so. There we go. And that should be a great solder joint on that part there.